Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a phenomenal skincare hack that until about a month ago, I had no idea existed. It utilizes ingredients which should already be in your skincare routine, so it shouldn't cost you a penny more, and will deliver some amazing, amazing results. So stay tuned, keep watching to find out more. This hack was actually recommended by a couple of you guys. So feel free to read me to filth in the comments below if you've been using this hack for years and years and years and I'm treating it like a new revelation. However, it incorporates the use of exfoliating acids as a natural alternative to deodorant. Now, before you think that's the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard, hear me out. Because in this video, I'm gonna be breaking it down, sharing my experiences, because I've been trying this for the past month. So I'll share my thoughts and feelings on it. But also I'll share the science behind why it actually works. So you don't just need to take my word for it. You'll know what science backs it up. I'll be sharing with you some of the best products if you wanna do this. So stay tuned for a little bit more. A lot of us over the years have tried natural deodorant alternatives. They're usually composed of Himalayan rock salt or something like that that you moisten and then put under the arm. Anyone's ever tried them, as much as we really tried to love and enjoy them, know that by midday, your co-workers were turning away with their handbags over their nose, not interested, because none of them actually worked. Our bodies sweat, it's a natural process and something that actually is a vital, vital process in our overall health of our body. But when that sweat comes into contact with bacteria, that live on the skin, they then break down some of the compounds within that sweat, which is what causes the odor. If you want to avoid that, one of the most traditional ways is to get an antiperspirant or a deodorant spray, which either masks, it either limits the amount of sweating that happens or masks any odor which might be materializing. A lot of us want to avoid the harsh chemicals that are in deodorants, and there has been some science in the past, though this is by no means conclusive, that the use of aluminium salts in deodorants and antiperspirants can have some negative side effects on the body. Like I said, I'm going to leave some studies. That's very much open to interpretation, and I'm not making a call one way or the other on that but I'll leave some um, things below if you do want to check that out. For me it comes down to the fact that I'm asthmatic and using that amount of aerosol and chemicals in the air is so so bad for my lungs and can really impact um, my breathing for a couple of minutes after I've actually used them. So anything natural and effective I'm all on board with. So let me share with you my favourite hack. This involves taking your favourite exfoliating acid and applying it on the morning to the underarm area. This has two benefits. First of all it limits the amount of odour causing bacteria. I'll come on to how it does that later. And second of all, it acts as an exfoliant, which is going to minimize any um, ingrowing hairs if you do shave the underarm area and also help with any discoloration that we often do see in the armpit area. Win, 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 ding, ding, ding. It doesn't really matter what exfoliating acid or type that you use because it's the pH which is crucial. The bacteria that sit on our skin and break down the sweat to form um, different compounds which do produce the odor, they are pH sensitive. Our skin's pH is normally around the five, five and a half mark, but the skin under our arm is slightly more alkaline than the skin on our face. These bacteria thrive in alkaline conditions, so by applying a topical exfoliating acid to the area, that brings the pH right down, and so these bacteria can't multiply and thrive in those conditions the same way that they can normally when the skin is in its normal state. I've been trying this hack for the past month after it was recommended by a couple of subscribers and I've been blown away. I've tried different exfoliators. And I do think it's really important to match the exfoliator to your skin type and how dry and sensitive the skin on the underarm area is. But whichever one I used, it delivered great results. By the evening, I had a quick whiff to see nothing, absolutely nothing. After showering in the morning, I applied the exfoliator and then in the evening, there wasn't a sight of any unnecessary odor and I felt fresh and confident and it really, really delivered. I didn't have any of the aerosol issues with my breathing and it minimizes the amount of chemicals that are on the skin. However, let's make sure you're choosing the right one for you. So the options really are glycolic acid, which I think is fantastic. If you have no underarm dryness or sensitivity and you're looking to tackle hyperpigmentation um, under the arm, then glycolic acid is going to be your friend. It will work great as that deodorant, but it will also work to eliminate some of that excess pigment in the area. I'd reach for the ordinary glycolic acid toning solution, which is the right pH, the right concentration for daily use and works really well. I'll leave a link to that as well as all the products I mentioned below. If you have dry underarms, and I find that the area under our arms can often be some of the driest on our body, I'd reach for this. And this is the one I found works best for me. This is the Ordinary Lactic Acid 10% plus Hyaluronic Acid. The reason it works is lactic acid is a humectant, so it redraws in and retains moisture in the skin. This also has hyaluronic acid in, which works in the same way. So it's like a double whammy for your hydration. 
This works beautifully as a deodorant, but it also won't leave your skin too sensitive because it's much more gentle than glycolic acid and it hydrates as well. So this I'd say is probably the all around best solution. And again, is linked below. I also did a video on how to get the most out of this product, which I'll link up there. So if you are gravitating towards this as a lactic acid, I'd um, check out the video on how to get the most from it. A lot of people will also reach for beta hydroxy acids, salicylic acid, which again works really well. They're slightly more on the drying side. So whilst they're super effective and we often have them in our skincare routine already, they will be slightly more on the drying side as they um, often remove excess oils from the skin. So bear that in mind if you are particularly dry, but something like um, the Paula's Choice BHA liquid would be a really great option for people. And whilst I tried it and it worked just as well, I find it a little bit on the drying side for me. One of the ones that I'm using at the moment and trying out is this. This is the Geek and Gorgeous Calm Down. This is for people that have super sensitive underarm areas. This is a PHA. So PHAs are large molecules, so the most gentle of the exfoliating acids. And this also has some calming ingredients as well. This I think is essential if you have super, super sensitive underarm area. And again, I've linked it below. Of all of them, I think what this has taught is it doesn't matter which acid that matters because actually it's the pH which is crucial. So any of these would work, but match uh, the different qualities of the different different acid types to your skin type to get the right one for you. And honestly, you will be fresh all day long. Two things I will call out just before I end the video is one, don't use this hack if you have broken or damaged skin um, as obviously things like eczema and dermatitis, you should consult a professional before you do this. I won't recommend it on any open, dry or damaged, severely dry or damaged skin. Secondly, I will just say, make sure that you're using something that doesn't have too many added benefits. Go for a very basic exfoliator, A, because it will cut down the cost and you don't want to be wasting your bougie products on your underarm area. But also you don't want something that's too packed full of sugars and other things which could feed the bacteria and actually make the situation worse. Finally, it isn't an antiperspirant. So there's two different ways of looking at this. Antiperspirants have aluminium salts in there, which actually prevent perspiration. They stop the sweating from happening, and that's how it minimizes any future odor. This reduces the amount of bacteria which cause the odor, but the level of sweating will still remain the same. So if you're using your antiperspirant to cut down excessive sweating, which is a known medical condition, then this won't work for you. This is for people like me that have normal sweat levels and are just looking to make sure they're fresh day long. I spared you all the view of my underarm area. Nobody came here to see that. So, you know, I'm not doing a full demonstration. I think we can all envisage what the process will look like. So I'll spare you all for that. But wherever you are in the world, let me know if you've tried this hack and let me know if you're going to try it. Because honestly, I would recommend it to everyone. I'm saying lots and lots of love and take care. Bye.